welcome everybody to a new video and this is a is the first of many videos um this is the first video of the Peloponnesian war replays um i will not do every each and every replay uh i will do just some um i already planned a video with uh, um together with nightingale uh we will uh, watch it and comment it together so i'm i'm very um I'm looking forward to that video, honestly. I like these um, featured videos. Um, anyway, uh, talking of the tourney, I want to give as many info as possible. So let's press play first. Um, I think this is this is a battle from the first round. Uh, this tournament is a double elimination tournament. I was part of the committee for for the rules of the tournament. Um, this is a Caesars Forum tournament. And uh, what else? Uh, the factions are Athens, Colchis, Massalia, Rhodes, Sparta, Syracuse, Pergamon, Epirus, and Terrace from uh, Rise of the Republic. Um, the rules are... Uh, Hold on, the, the mods we're using are larger battlefields and divided in pro, uh, all three parts. So the Steam version, not, a, not that it changes anything, but, but yeah, just say it. Uh, the, um, the funds are 23k um, and the unit limits are four phalanxes, no pike, um, and all the other infantry. So melee infantry, spear infantry, missile infantry is all capped to two. Uh, cavalry and for the specific case of Epirus, although I don't see any of them. Anyway, for the uh, cavalry and the elephants, the uh, limit is to one. Um, and then for the band, uh, the band units are of course the artillery, the pike, as I said before, and the war dogs. War dogs always bond for very obvious reasons, but. Um, oh, probably I never showed it, but they are literally disgusting that you can uh, wreck everything. Anyway, um, so I, as I was saying, this is a battle from the first round. This is Cyrus versus Geo. Uh, we know Geo, he has a lot of experience. Uh, about Cyrus, I don't know how much experience he does have on the eye. I don't think too much. Um, but anyway, he has a, um, uh, or at least not too much in multiplayer battles. Um, anyway, uh, he has his own uh, YouTube channel. Um, please check that check that out. Um, you can also find it in the Caesars forum. Which, by the way, I th think I finally found a way to put a valid link, so um, that doesn't expire. So um, I will link the Caesars forum again, you can join and, um, look for the new tournaments because we're planning on other tournaments and, uh, and also you can see, um, Cyrus's, um, YouTube channel on the, on the forum, um, together with a lot. And I also want to thank Toxberg, uh, since he quoted my channel and because he watches all my videos and that's really that is really lovely. Uh, that means something, really. So, um, and, and also watch watch his channel. That's amazing. He's doing a narrative uh, campaign that I, I think I don't know, like I was thinking about it, and that that must take literally hours to uh, script all that and record and um, edit and stuff. So um, he really deserves some uh, shout out to his channel. Anyway, back. Oh god, I talk too much. Anyway, back to the video and to the battle. Um, the battle has started with Geo's slingers shooting on the, I, I think on the Massalian hoplites. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't shoot on the hoplites due to, since the situation is this. So this Massalian hoplite. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, um, Cyrus brought two kinds of Oplites. This is the Massalian Noble Guard and the Massalian Oplites. I wouldn't shoot the Massalian Oplites because you can easily beat them with the Hepard Oplites because he put one Chevron on them. So, that's a smart move. Um, I think the way the Oplite fight work is that even if you have just a slight advantage on the opponent's Oplite, 
you actually have a decisive victory in the one v one in the one v one hoplite fight, uh, which means that this hoplite um, this hoplite will win uh, very decisively to, to this hoplite, no matter what you shoot or what you do. Um, I mean, actually, it matters if they are properly engaged and stuff, but it shouldn't matter so much if you shoot them or not. Uh, but this instead, the, the Noble Guard will win very, very easily to Geos, especially if they're getting shot, uh, as they are. Um, Geos already moving, the, uh, moving his Turios forth. Um, I guess he wants to push back this Massalian Cavalry. I think the, Mas the Cavalry advantage here is on, Ma uh, on the Massalian side, because the Massalian Cavalry is really, really good. And I think also pretty expensive. I mean, Geo has a Tarantine Cav... Okay, Geo's Cavalry is very cost-effective, um, but I don't think it can win to... Um, I think those are two General Cav, like two different kinds of General Cav, but still General Cav. So these two are pretty good, but uh, he has one... No, I think they have the same. I don't know. I still think that Geo's Cavalry is very cost-effective, but Cyrus's Cav is better. Um, I know that the Selian Cav can do a lot of damage, but we'll see. Uh, I've seen some shot from the Peltists. I think they wrecked the two rows. Not really, the, not really the best. What you really need the help, uh, the Peltist to do is wreck this, uh, this old plate here. I can't ping. Just, just really realize I can't ping. Hmm. I think with the Peltas, the best target is one of these, um, this Oplite, so that this Oplite doesn't have any trouble. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what is going on. Oh, he has one Ambak, so I thought I would see more of those, but I can't see any other. Okay, this is like Levy Swords. This instead is like noble spears, sort of like a midway between thorax spears and um, I don't know something cheaper. But he got the defensive formation, so I just just as the thorax actually. I just realized. Um, actually, the peltists. Okay, so what I think here is what we want to do is win this side, uh, and the peltists can actually help because as like if he charges his cavalry. Then he must support with uh, with something, and the Peltas are a really good way to support. The Keltolenic, I think I don't know what that is. I think this is like just uh, Keltolenic infantry. Okay, so he got the Keltolenic infantry. I'm not. I don't really remember how this unit behave. While the Romanized infantry here, I know it's not the best, but can be. Can be used properly this is bad this ligris infantry is gonna be murdered by the molossian cav molossian cav which by the way looks amazing um the ligurian ligurian helmets really I, for some reason just um remembers me of the sardi I, I, well, I mean, they have horns the same way, so I guess that, that that's the reason why. Um, Cyrus is supporting with this Keltolonic, uh, Lenic, uh, Riforoi, a uh, Lancer, or a Spearman. Okay, this is, this is bad. Geo moved, moved his, uh, um, what are those? L those are Levis. So he moved his Levis forth and is now absorbing all, all the ammo by the uh, peltists and the and the infantry uh this is a w sort of like i don't really like that i usually don't do that um but in this case this this worked because missiles are so important especially if they're peltists uh because their their ammo is very limited uh, meanwhile the cavalry engaged uh the thessalian is holding pretty well as as the Thessalian do, these generals, they must... Okay, Geo's general is not charging into the Massalian general. Uh, what I would do here is go behind and charge from the rear. Uh, like, this straight attack, I don't know how many how many kills this, this will do. In fact, I think it didn't do anything. But this is a 
problem. Geo's exactly that's exactly what Geo's doing. Like he sent his cavalry back and engaged other cav. Now he's gonna do the same with this Thessalian, and the shock from the Thessalian will be absolutely uh, crazy. And this cav fight looks already much much messier than it was three seconds ago. Uh, the two spears are also gonna support. Uh, they're gonna do a lot of damage to the cav. I think. What Massalia needs to do here is sacrifice one of his, maybe like the cheapest of the two cavalry and save his gen and the other cav. Um, Kelto, Lenik, Pezoi. I think this is just too much, um, too much apart. Like the units are all too spread out and you should also like uh, turn off the defensive formation and rush. Oh yeah, the Thessalian came in and wrecked everything together with the spears. And this general is gonna be catched, unfortunately. Nice colors on the uh, Massalian shields. Really, really nice. The Thessalian is catching up and uh, I don't think this general can manage to, to escape. On this other side, um, the Keltolenic um, cavalry is doing fine against the Tarantine now. Geo's running away. He should uh, fall back his cab. And since it's not really good, like it's it's already red or yellow. I mean, they would probably now lose to the Tarantine. What I would do is go here and take the slingers out. I mean, archers as slingers, you can just do boom and clean clean this up and hit the rear of the whole plates. Because whenever whenever you play with hoplites, what I understood uh, in this tournament is that whenever you have uh, hoplites, like if you have any cavalry um, and the formation is somewhat open, then the battle can still swing around. Like it's not decided yet. As long as you have hoplites, you have hope, or and as long as the as the opponents have cavalry, um, you, you st he still has hope. So. Um, Although I think Geo here is already has already got the the upper end. The Thessalian is doing what the Thessalian knows best is destroying everything. The this other Massalian cavalry uh, came back was intercepted by the Gen. The general actually Geo risked this general quite a lot, um, but. Uh, I guess what really made the difference was the like the fact that he sent this cavalry around uh, first with um, with the Molossian cav and then with uh, Thessalian. I think that when the Thessalian came in, just wrecked two uh, two cav units at once. The Ambaktsoi will hold. I'm pretty sure they will hold from <laughs> every every charge in the rear, every charge in the front. This this unit. Um, this unit is so good. This is why I expected um, I expected to see two of them because they can literally. Oh wow, got wrecked. But um, yeah, I expected to see more of them. I expected overall. I expected to see much more Massalia and much less Cyprus. Um, but um, but yeah. Let's see. Ooh, these all plights are not gonna last for a long for a long time. Masalian all plights are routing already. This Romanized infantry should last for a little bit. Um, but they're I mean they're completely surrounded. I, I guess the next the next cav charge, especially without the defensive formation, the the cav charge, uh, the next cav charge will be. The last for the that Romanized infantry. The Thessalian is also coming back, and as soon as this charges the Hoplites, they're gonna die. He still have a hope. He can still turn his Hoplite around. Like the Hoplites from the front for the cavalry is just like an untraspassable wall. Like this is the, the right time. Give the order. No, too late. They didn't have the time to form up. As you can see, they're trying to form, but um, it's not. It's not gonna work. Soldier, uh, the Ambacto is still doing a great job here. They lost three men since the last time I checked. The Romanized infantry is still, still alive, surviving another cav charge despite my um, 
what, despite what I thought. Uh, still without the defensive formation. I'm surprised because the defensive formation here is um, is really gonna make a lot of difference, especially when when uh, the opponent mass up all the units like this, um, because you can keep gi giving the attack order. And they will eventually start sort of pushing through the enemy, but they will actually kill. So, I mean, that's like a sort of legal push through, I guess, with all plates and defensive formations. Uh, the Ambaktoi, um, well, I mean, every push through is legal, but uh, I guess with all plates and defensive formation is sort of okay. It's like the elephants. Uh, it's, re it's really what you need to do to kill. And. Close defeat for Massalia. Um, thanks to both of, uh, of them to play this tournament. Let's see the results. So Cyrus the Great. I'm sorry, Cyrus the Great. Um, Cyrus the Great, 1,119 kills. God, 1,914 kills. Um, not a great difference in terms of kills, but um, also Cyrus deployed less units. Um, okay, so this is, I guess, the first problem. Uh, in DI, it's really important to have 20 units because basically you give an edge to the opponent and the opponent can go on your rear and kill a lot of units. Uh, detecting the rear um, debuff in DI is really big, so you really should avoid that and try to bring at least 20 units. Um... I still think the cavalry advantage was on Masalia's side, um, but I guess Geo just has more experience and he actually manages cavalry a, a lot better. Um, the Peltas did fine, although I think they only shot the levy, so this is fine, but also not fine. Uh, the Ambacto did great. Um, I was expecting way less from the Hoplites. The Hoplites actually did a great, great job. Um, and Geo's Oblites instead. Um, I mean, one did okay, the other one just died. Uh, the other two, I think they... I think this one wasn't even attacked. Um, yeah, Geo had a lot of... Actually, he had two more Oblites here. Um, the Turius did okay, but I guess the best the best unit uh, was the Thessalian, and the Thessalian actually wrecked everything. So good use of Cav. I think this 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 was a cavalry victory uh for Geo. So yeah, nice 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 bottle. Nice little bottle. Um so I hope you guys watch the video. Uh what? What? Watch the video? I hope you guys like the video and um see you in the next video. I don't know what the next video will be. Probably a Peloponnesian more uh turning video. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea of anything. Damn it. See you guys.